right? This is a pest tool. You don't need this. You can do it with a block. I made this block just out of a little piece of mahogany with a piece of felt glued on it. You can get the felt, you know, from inner soles or hunting boots or something like that, or any place, and glue it on. Makes a good sanding block. This is just faster for me. tool yep. but people shouldn't go against the grain if it's going to be a varnished finish well, you have with anything that they do by hand over the block they should follow the grain and then I always go over it with the same grit this is 180 same I started grit. with 80 grit and with the 120 now this is 180 and then I'll sand it with finer paper just before I stain and varnish it you have to do the finest grit sanding immediately before you put your stain or your seal on it, right? Yep. Because you don't want any fuzz to raise it. Okay, now just the way this model is, is the way it would have been done by my uncles and grandfather and great grandfather and great great grandfather. They would have, this would have been it. They wouldn't have put any trim on it, any keel stem, a keel, a rudder. This was just what they did. But I'm going to add some stuff to it. Toll rails, molding, keel. part of the keel. I've already fitted it to the model. Uh, I have to cut this out and then you can see the pencil line here. This will be the keel. Okay. So I'm going to cut this out on the little bandsaw. I always cut it out leaving it big and then I plane it and sand it down to the right shape. Okay. You cutting it right now? Yep. All right. I'm just using walnut because it's a different color. You want a little contrast? 